love music don't get old, so Beyonce, she ain't going nowhere. Like, there'll be a reason. And, you know, I remember one time walking in the studio, Bleak Beans, everybody was in there. I wasn't in the ad right. because of, uh, look, Jay-Z and them was putting it together. Mm -hmm. So I, I think they still harbor some energy towards me. You think you were purposely left out of the ad? No, no. I, oh, okay. I don't think, I think that they, they, they were saying the NFL has some issues with me mm. that um, I don't know what those issues are. Like, mm -hmm. I don't, what is the issue? You see what I'm saying? Like, and I, um, with with him, because like with Nori, Nori was, he had uh, communication. He said, yeah, I, swear, I talked to the big homie. You saying, so Jay, he was telling me, you know, the white boy wouldn't do the truth without, without 50. Could the perfect marriage between Jay-Z and Beyonce be nothing more than a carefully constructed illusion? Recently, 50 Cent has been dropping hints and claims about their relationship, suggesting that the iconic couple's bond might be purely business-driven. So what's the truth behind Jay-Z and Beyonce's relationship? And why is 50 Cent so determined to expose it? 50 Cent and Jay-Z have been in the spotlight for years, and it's no secret that they haven't always seen eye to eye. Their rivalry has taken on many forms, with 50 Cent frequently questioning Jay-Z's business deals, image, and relationships. But now, 50 has taken things to the next level, openly suggesting that Jay-Z and Beyonce's marriage might be less about love and more about status and influence. According to 50, there are cracks in their seemingly perfect relationship, and he's determined to bring them to light. That something seemed off in this union. As one person commented, their relationship always felt forced, yeah, disingenuous yeah. to me. And another user added, Remember when Jay-Z was hanging with R. Kelly? If he do a tell, all it would be out of this world. I don't believe he should have been the only one going to jail. It's been speculated that, despite their 15-year-long marriage, Jay-Z has never been faithful to his wife, and speculations about him having multiple mis- you know, when I when you really think about it, you think of people like Jeffrey Epstein, R. Kelly, Diddy, and you look at their circle. You look at the people around them. And that's why I said it's very, very hard for me to believe that these people that you always see around them doing songs with them uh, don't know what is like going on. But I think they, they get so caught up in the I got all this money. I'm never going to get caught. You know what I mean? That, because like, if you know what he's doing, you would say to yourself, I'm not going to make no music with you. I, this dude, I don't want any ties with him. But I feel like these, these artists make music with each other because they feel like they're not going to get caught or in trouble. But I think once they get out of line and they don't follow the rules, then people start to release stuff on them. And then the people who, that are tied to them are like, oh no, oh no. You know, cause there's no way Jay-Z didn't know what R. Kelly or don't know what Diddy is doing. It ain't no way, ain't no way. 50 Cent's allegations center on the idea that Jay-Z and Beyonce's marriage might be more of a strategic alliance than a romance. Rumors in the industry suggest that Jay-Z and Beyonce crafted their public image to boost their careers, leveraging each other's influence to build an empire. 50 Cent has claimed that Jay-Z's approach to marriage is calculated, even suggesting that he sold off Beyonce's image to push his own brand. He even hinted that their relationship is just a facade to maintain their influence and power. The world sees them as a power couple, but if 50's allegations hold any truth, this relationship could be based more on- Beyonce and Jay-Z. And it, it just blew my mind because I had never really even thought about that. Didn't know that Pimp C didn't even want to do the whole big pimping song with Jay-Z. Because, uh, you know, he didn't like how he didn't like the disrespect that they were giving Tupac. He's a big fan, big friend of Tupac. But here it says 50 Cent exposes Jay-Z's biggest secret, how he sold off Beyonce's body. Mm-mm-mm. And, you know, supposedly on, with, with Pimp C, he had a tape, uh, supposedly of him and Beyonce. That's why they were saying Jay-Z might have took him out. This is crazy, man. But, hey, we're going to jump into it. 
appreciate all the love and support with you guys coming over man we ain't gonna waste no more time let's jump right into it say these industry relationships aren't real it's a business thing you know um that's why a lot of people be looking at them like these two are together you know i i said i don't get the like lovey-dovey vibe from beyonce and jay-z at all at all but it really does seem like a business transaction so that would make sense for both of them to be excelling off of each other you know meant for the industry's big wigs remember jay-z's grammy journey it didn't kick off until 98 with his first win for best rap album then there was a bit of a dry spell until four when crazy in love snagged a grammy for him and beyonce Fast forward, and Jay's now sitting on a throne of 23 Grammys. Damn. And according to 50 Cent, there's something shady behind this insane success. To receive the 16, what, the 16, 17 Grammys since he's been with Beyonce. Mm. Right? And, and you go prior to that, one. And apparently, amidst the drama going on right now, 50 Cent is done holding the top guarded secrets of the industry back. As the rapper claimed in his interview in 2009, Jay was having a king complex and couldn't stand a fair competition. He said, he thinks he's effing Jesus. 50 didn't mince words, accusing Jay-Z of being self-centered and willing to betray those closest to him for personal gain. But wait, before you assume this is pure hate, consider Jay-Z's questionable company over the years. He's been cozy with some rather dubious characters like Diddy and R. Kelly. Adding fuel to the fire, rapper Oskino addressed rumors surrounding Jay-Z and Beyonce, especially those raised by outspoken artist Jaguar Wright. Oskino implied that Jay-Z and Beyonce's lawyers have allegedly tried to silence Wright for sharing details about the couple's true dynamic. According to Wright, Jay-Z and Beyonce are involved in things the public never sees, suggesting they manage their image in ways that are anything but transparent. This legal interference, if true, raises questions about how far the couple is willing to go to protect their image. That I did with Pierce Morgan, along with Jaguar Wright and a lawyer lady. And uh, Jaguar Wright says some pretty crazy stuff. Uh, she said, uh, basically, that Jay-Z and Beyonce were keeping people against their will and putting them on planes while they're unconscious. But this is my thing, right? <laughs> Have you ever seen, when you were a Rockefeller, did you ever see Jay-Z drug someone and no. put them on a plane? No. You're sure, right? Positive. But, okay. my thing is, even, but even if they was doing that, same, same if they was doing that, how would she know? Right. But I'm scared of Jaguar Wright, though. So like, I, 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 I won't say nothing about her, because she, she, she uh, Jaguar Wright, I don't want no trouble from you. Like, <laughs> she, she, she don't play no games. She don't got no picks, neither. You know what I mean? Yeah, man. I mean, is it entertainment for people starting to believe her? Because she she on Pierce Morgan, like that's that's a major platform to be on. Yeah, I've been on Pierce Morgan like maybe four or five times. So he asked me to be on on this one panel, and then when I saw the names and I saw her name on it, I was just gonna cancel. But I'm like, you know something? I, I'm gonna stick around and do it, and I'm address the nonsense. Well, regardless of truth or false or whatever, you sue somebody, you win, you can't collect. Yeah, no, so now you spent half a million dollars and a bunch of time. For nothing. Yeah. But a platform like Pierce Morgan, you can't sue. Yeah, because that's major. He's got money. Yeah. So what, you know, Jay and Beyonce did, which I think was the right thing to do, is they ignored Jaguar Wright and went after the platform. You know, which is similar to what, like, Cardi B did with Tasha K. Because Cardi, you know, Cardi B, to her defense, you know, Tasha K had this guest on a show that accused... Cardi of drug use and having diseases and all this other type of weird stuff, mm. which was all false. So Cardi asked her to take it down. Tasha wouldn't do it. So she sued and she won. Did she get any money? Another point 50 Cent raised is Jay-Z's image strategy, as seen in his business moves like his deal with Reebok. 50 Cent has claimed that Jay-Z strategically shapes his public persona to maintain a polished image, even if it means bending the truth. According to 50, this deal was one example of Jay-Z's calculated approach to fame and influence, suggesting that his marriage might be part of the same strategy. 50 Cent views this relationship as not just a love story, but a branding move meant to secure Jay-Z's legacy and keep him at the top of the industry. I knew that the, uh, the hip-hop community in general General, right. and consumers that were conscious of it were comfortable with spending $80 on Air Force One because mm -hmm. everybody would do it. So I kept it at that price point. Mm -hmm. And Jay, Jay made his joints a, a buck 25. Like, mm -hmm. 
I thought that was a little crazy at the time mm -hmm. because I was like, Jordan right. is the only one to sell shoes right. like, right. like, you know right. what I'm saying? Right. Like, it was right. like, I, I didn't compare myself to that. I kept it like down to the eighty dollar price point. We, right. the, the deal structure was completely different too. Like Jay, they made their deal like a joint venture, mm. so they were like completely equal with RBK. Okay, where like they had a fifty percent profit split, like the labels. Right. 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 After right. they recouped the cost of the shoes, they split the money. Right. You know what I'm saying? That's now right. me, I'm. Fuck that, I'm a high-risk investment, just give me money. Because they was doing the deal with us because they lost the opportunity to sign LeBron. 50 Cent's comments don't stop at Jay-Z. He's also taken digs at Beyonce herself. In one clip, 50 Cent jokes about Beyonce's solo career, saying, you don't miss the other two. This remark seems to imply that Beyonce's journey from Destiny's child to solo superstar was also a strategic decision. According to 50, Beyonce left her bandmates behind as part of her rise to fame, a move that he suggests aligns with the fake marriage narrative, where every choice is made with business in mind. I was watching Beyonce's early career, not, not by choice, it was just in your face, like it was in the building, like so it was right there. And then with Destiny's Child in the early stages, you see, yeah, it's a, a group, it's a thing. And then when she blossoms out of it, it turns into something that's even crazier. Like, you don't miss the two other females mm. being there with the record. While Jay-Z and Beyonce's joint appearance at events like the Grammys Project's Unity, 50 Cent isn't convinced. In recent public outings, the couple seems picture perfect, but 50 believes it's all part of the act. He claims they know how to play the game and present a united front, even if the reality is different. 50 Cent suggests that they've become so accustomed to this act that their fans can't see through it, adding to the illusion of a perfect Hollywood romance. In a light-hearted twist, 50 Cent once shared a story about an unexpected run-in with Beyonce during his feud with Jay-Z. According to 50, Beyonce once tried to confront him on Jay-Z's behalf. The story, while amusing, reveals just how serious their feud has been over the years and perhaps how much Beyonce feels the need to defend her relationship publicly. 50's recounting of the incident may be funny, but he frames it as a reflection of how carefully Beyonce protects her image and her marriage, even if that means stepping into the fray. He was it's hip hop, are you battle? It's not like, I, you think I want to do something on? Mm -hmm. Like, we don't want to do so, nothing to each other. Y'all got a good, y'all still got, y'all got a good relationship, right? You and Ho? Yeah. During the interview, 50 also joked about Solange's infamous 2014 elevator attack on Jay-Z, saying, You lucky son. Eyebrows was 50 Cent's comment on Jay-Z, allegedly modeling his image after a gay painter. According to 50, this statement is part of Jay-Z's strategy to appeal to diverse audiences. While the context might seem random, 50 Cent uses it to illustrate his belief that Jay-Z's image is entirely crafted, leaving nothing to chance. If even his fashion and art inspirations are curated for effect, 50 argues, then what's to say his marriage isn't just another calculated move. I wasn't in the ad right. because of, uh, look, Jay-Z and them was putting it together. Mm -hmm. So I, I think they still harbor some energy towards me. You think you were purposely left out of the ad? No, no. Oh, I, okay. I don't think, I think that they, they, they were saying the NFL had some issues with me mm. that um, I don't know what those issues are. Like, mm -hmm. I don't, what is the issue? You see what I'm saying? Like, and I, um, with, with him, because like with Nori, Nori was, he had a uh, communication. He said, yeah, I, saw, I talked to the big homie. He was saying, so Jay, he was telling me, you know, the white boy wouldn't do the truth without, without 50. Right? And I'm like, that's when I start saying crazy stuff, because I, I look and I go, oh, uh, that's your big homie. Right? And so, so he, he, he image himself after a gay painter. Okay. Big homie want to look like a, a gay painter. What are we talking about here? We're talking about Basquiat. He wants to look like a gay painter. Oh my God, I think I know where we're going with so this. So now look, what I'm saying to you is, look, when you start looking at, it's, it, that's not mine, that's theirs, they harbor it, right? But when you look at 
M is looking at the entire legacy. Long before these comments, Jay-Z reportedly warned his associates, saying, 50 Cent is coming. This phrase became famous, symbolizing Jay's recognition of 50 Cent as a threat in the music industry. 50 Cent, however, sees it as proof that Jay-Z always views people in terms of potential competition or alliances. He believes Jay-Z and Beyonce's relationship is no different, carefully calculated to maintain power and control in an industry where influence is everything. I absolutely, uh, absolutely, because I, I I wanted to be here, you know, and I and I saw a lot of a, a lot of um, people let opportunities go, and I was like, oh, that they not gonna be around. Why why aren't you doing this? If I had that, I'd be doing this. And I think about it in, in in those terms. I think about it not outside of what we do. I think about it just in in uh, strategic moves mm -hmm. when you when you have it and you're about to have it and you know what happens and. You know, I remember one time walking in the studio and uh, uh, it was like a small gap and uh, uh, bleak beans. Everybody was in there and I was like, man, I'm telling you, man, y'all better, y'all better, y'all got a chance right now. Just flood it, put out a lot of music mm -hmm. because 50 Cent is coming. Mm -hmm. And, you know, four months later in the club hit and it was over. And right. It was just like, okay, now everybody got to sit on the sidelines and wait and wait this tight to wave out. Mm -hmm. So like just seeing things like that. Mm -hmm. um, I remember when you yeah. wanted to sign Wayne before Wayne yeah. really took off. Yeah. And the club came out. I'll never forget the first time I heard that. I was at Indiana State's. It was a capital party at Indiana State my freshman year. It was like winter homecoming. It was like a welcome back for Christmas break. I said, what the fuck is this? And it changed everything. My ducks, my swans, welcome to the pond. My name is Dorian from group82music.com and right here we got Jay-Z talking about how he told the entire Rockefeller label, hey man, 50 Cent is coming. 50 Cent's allegations paint a picture of Jay-Z and Beyonce as a couple whose public image is built on business, not romance. Whether there's truth to 50's claims or it's just part of their long-standing feud, one thing is clear. Jay-Z and Beyonce's relationship has become a point of fascination and speculation. According to 50, this perfect marriage may be just another layer in their carefully crafted empire. Are Jay-Z and Beyonce the Hollywood dream team, or is it all a front, with 50 Cent determined to expose what he believes is a fake marriage? The truth behind their relationship may eventually come to light, or remain one of Hollywood's biggest mysteries. Love music don't get old, so Beyonce, she ain't going nowhere. There'll be a reason for you to want to listen to Beyonce. Mm -hmm. Like, yeah, you know what I'm saying? Yeah, like, yeah. it's just, when you look at R&B music, R&B music required buttons at some point. You mm -hmm. had to be a gentleman. Mm -hmm. Now, if you look up, they got the same tattoos the hip-hop artists right, got. They're right. saying the same, they're singing the lyrics the hip-hop artists would say in the, in the verse. That's it for now. Don't forget to tell us what you think in the comments below. For more updates, hit the bell icon.